Hi everyone, my name is Iman and this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be exploring the new foundational model from Leonardo AI called Phoenix, which was recently introduced. The stunning images featured in this introduction were all generated using the Phoenix model. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Iman Global YouTube Channel. I'm excited to share some breaking news from the world of AI-generated art. Leonardo AI, a leading platform in this field, has just released its latest and most advanced model yet, Leonardo Phoenix. This groundbreaking model marks a significant leap forward in AI capabilities, offering users an unprecedented level of creative control, enhanced prompt adherence, and superior image quality. Leonardo Phoenix is built on a revolutionary new architecture that unlocks new possibilities for AI-generated imagery. With its enhanced prompt adherence, you can now create images that more accurately reflect your vision than ever before. The model also excels at generating clear and coherent text within images, making it perfect for creating banners, posters, and logos. And thanks to its superior image quality, you can enjoy vibrant colors, sharper details, and an overall enhanced aesthetic appeal. But that's not all. Leonardo Phoenix also comes with a suite of powerful tools that give you even more control over your creative process. With prompt enhancement, you can automatically transform basic prompts into more detailed ones, ensuring optimal results. And with AI prompt editing, you can instruct the AI to make specific changes to your prompts, such as adding or removing elements, changing colors, or adjusting the style. So if you're ready to take your AI-generated art to the next level, then Leonardo Phoenix is the tool for you. But don't just take my word for it. Join me for the rest of this tutorial where we'll dive into the depths of Leonardo Phoenix and explore its incredible capabilities. We'll create stunning images, experiment with different prompts, and unleash our creativity with this groundbreaking model. We are visiting the Leonardo website. Using the launch app button in the top right corner, we create an account and log in. After entering the dashboard to review the new Phoenix model, I click on image generation from the left menu. We are greeted with the new interface of the image generation section. Just like the previous version, the images we previously created are displayed in the central part of the site. The prompt text box is visible at the top of the site, but the left menu has undergone a significant transformation. I click on the preset dropdown list. There are many new structures and models in the new categories here. The latest Leonardo model named Phoenix is here. We intend to analyze and review it. I select the new Phoenix model and close the preset window. With the selection of the new Phoenix model, new options appear in the left menu. The prompt enhance option is a new feature that has two sections, automatic and off. When the automatic option is selected, the AI expands your prompt to produce more detailed and improved outputs. When the off option is selected, the AI won't enhance the prompt, and the quality of outputs may be lower. In my opinion, the prompt style drop-down list is the most important part of the new Phoenix model. It is where you can direct the style and appearance of the images. We will practically apply the styles available in this section to different prompts in the following steps. The contrast drop-down list has three options, low, medium, and high. In this tutorial, I prefer the medium option. A bit further down, there is the generation mode option with two parameters, fast and quality. You can toggle between fast generations and slower quality generations. Quality, formerly known as Alchemy V2, was not available in the free plan in the previous version and still isn't. The upgraded version, known as Quality Generations, is only available with paid subscriptions. A bit further down, there is the Image Dimensions option where we can set the aspect ratio to horizontal, vertical, or even square formats. Below that, there are three size options small, medium, and large for determining the image size. In this example, I choose the 16 to 9 ratio and medium size with dimensions 2064 to 1152. However, an important issue arises in the advanced settings section, and Leonardo has pointed out this important detail. Due to the newness of the Phoenix model, the photo reel option is currently disabled. I have a simple prompt. I paste it into the text box. From the preset style drop-down list, I select the 3D render option. I click on the generate button. After a short while, images are created based on the 3D render style. I click on the thumbnail of one of the images to view them in a larger size. 
The images in the 3D style are acceptable and appealing, showing that the 3D render style can be used to create images in the style of Pixar and Disney animations. Let's do something interesting. Our current prompt is in the 3D style. Let's generate it again by changing the style from 3D to real without altering the prompt. This will test Leonardo's capabilities a bit. To do this, from the left side, I select cinematic from the prompt style drop-down list. Now, I click on the generate button. The new images are created based on the cinematic style, and their thumbnails are displayed. I click on one of them to view it in a larger size. The results are very realistic and impressive, showcasing the high capability and flexibility of the new Leonardo Phoenix model. Another new style I noticed in Phoenix is macro. Let's test it. I select macro from the prompt style drop-down list and change the prompt. Now, I click on the Generate button. The new images are created based on the macro style, and their thumbnails are displayed. I click on one of them to view it in a larger size. When you want to generate images of elements and objects, using the macro style makes your images look like they were taken by a professional photographer with expensive lenses. I change the prompt and include the name of a character. Another new and different style I encountered in Phoenix is the sketch style. Let's test it together. I select sketch from the prompt style drop-down list and click on the generate button. The new images are created based on the sketch style, and their thumbnails are displayed. I click on one of them to view it in a larger size. With the sketch style, the images become very artistic, as if a professional artist drew them with pencils. I recommend applying the sketch style to images of your family members or friends. One of the new styles in Phoenix is called Fashion. Let's generate the current prompt in the Fashion style without changing the prompt itself. To do this, I select Fashion from the Prompt Style drop-down list on the left. Now, I click on the Generate button. The new images are created based on the Fashion style, and their thumbnails are displayed. I click on one to view it in a larger size. The images are truly amazing. Pay attention to the character's outfit, color combinations, scene setup, and composition. It's incredible how in just a few seconds, the character style transforms into something entirely different. It feels like a professional team of photographers, lighting experts, set designers, costume designers, and makeup artists are behind the scenes, perfectly arranging every detail of the image. The variety of styles in Leonardo's new Phoenix model is impressive. For example, another unique and artistic style I encountered is called Moody. I select Moody from the prompt style drop-down list on the left, and click on the Generate button. The new images are created based on the Moody style, and their thumbnails are displayed. I click on one to view it in a larger size. In previous versions, creating such artistic images required a lot of detailed descriptions in the prompt. But now, just by selecting the right style, you can quickly achieve the desired look. Next, I select Portrait from the Prompt Style drop-down list on the left, and click on the Generate button. The new images are created based on the portrait style, and their thumbnails are displayed. I click on one to view it in a larger size. This portrait style is perfect for creating images of beloved or even famous characters where they are the sole focus of the scene. Another new model I encountered is called Illustration. I select Illustration from the prompt style drop-down list on the left and click on the Generate button. The new images are created based on the Illustration style and their thumbnails are displayed. I click on one to view it in a larger size. The illustration model creates images that look like they were crafted by a skilled illustrator for a storybook, movie, or video game. Another new style added with Phoenix and Leonardo is called Bokeh, which I really like. To test this style, I completely change the prompt text and paste the new prompt into the text box. I select Bokeh from the Prompt Style drop-down list on the left, and click on the Generate button. The new images are created based on the Bokeh style, and their thumbnails are displayed. I click on one to view it in a larger size. In the Bokeh style, circular lights appear outside the areas where the camera is focused, and the background becomes blurred. It's actually the professional camera lenses that significantly impact the Bokeh effect, and now Leonardo simulates it for us with just a few clicks. I know what you. The audience of Iman Global. Like, let me prove it to you. How about we take this prompt and switch it to the 3D style? I select 3D render from the prompt style drop down list on the left and click on the generate button. The new images are created based on the 3D render style 
and their thumbnails are displayed. I click on one to view it in a larger size. I chose this style as the finale of this tutorial to show that I understand what you, my dear audience, enjoy. If you really want me to continue with the topic of 3D and creating 3D animations in the style of Pixar and Disney in future tutorials, comment with the words 3D, Pixar, Disney. If there are many requests, I will try to create many more tutorials on this topic. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful and learned something new, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any questions about AI, feel free to ask. I'd be happy to help in any way I can. There are many more AI tutorials on the way, so subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything and stay up to date with the latest tutorials. AI is the future, so embrace it. See you in the next tutorial.